So amongst dental appliances, Harry, there are some that are adjustable and some that aren't adjustable and some fitted by dentists and not fitted by dentists. Mm. So what's the difference between them? Yes, yeah, so there's a really big market for the what we call boil and bite. So it's a one size fit all type d- device which you can buy on the internet or in various stores. Mm-hmm. And the way they work, and I'll show you one of them. So this sure. is one from a large retailer. I won't mention their name, but they, they sell white goods and furniture. Uh, but they've now gone into the sleep apnea area. So yeah. the, the, uh, the Australian Sleep Association are quite concerned about a retailer treating sleep apnea. And the main problem is that they're, they're selling a boil and bite, one size fit all appliance like this. Yeah, what, and, do you, what do you mean by boil and bite? Uh, boil and bite, yes. Yeah. So what it means is that because it's because you only get one go to get it right and everyone's jaw is different, they've got to make it pretty big to fit around everyone's jaw. So it comes in a template like this or a framework like that and you put it in boiling water to soften yeah, it right. and then you fashion it over your teeth and you've got to work out the right forward position of the jaw as well. Mm-hmm. So that's how the, the, this, this, these work. Uh, this is one of the more sophisticated ones in that you can bring your jaw forward here, but a lot of the ones that we find our patients come with, come in with have bought them on the internet and you can't adjust them at all. And so they're only $30, $40 or so, they get a money back guarantee. Uh, often it, they claim that there's, there, there's clinical trials and that kind of thing, but really almost invariably people can't use them because the main problem with this type of appliance is that they, they don't fit well, so yet you've got poor retention. So it's really important that these appliances stay firmly on the teeth, so they kind of drop down. But the mouth's a sensitive place, and they tend to be quite bulky as well, and they put more pressure on teeth. So they're some of the problems. That's what I find, and often the same person who's got trouble with snoring and sleep apnea, they've often got it because the interior dimensions of the jaw are relatively small. Yeah. And so if your treatment's actually a big, bulky, treatment that takes up a lot of space in the mouth that can make things worse if not better. Yeah exactly I mean we get asked quite often well it, can't we just do one so people can see what it's like to, to use a device and we, we don't like to do that because it, it, for a lot of people it can actually help with the snoring so I mean we, people, we have people come in they say you know I can see that it can work in principle uh, that my snoring is, is reduced and I'm feeling better however it's just too painful to use and it's too bulky and so it's just a world of difference when you custom make it like an appliance that, that we, we're looking at here, which is just a millimetre or two thick all the way around. And, and importantly, you can bring the jaw forward by putting the key in there. And putting the key in there and bringing the jaw forward is, a, is one of the most important aspects of making sure this appliance works really effectively in getting rid of snoring and sleep apnea. Yeah. And one of the things for me as a sleep physician is absolutely the appliances are different, so it's adjustable, it's much more slim and fits more in the mouth, but it's also having a dentist troubleshoot. That's one of the keys for me. Yeah. You know, if someone goes to a retailer and buys a device and they get temporomandibular joint pain or they hurt their teeth, I can't deal with that. Yeah. And that's a really common thing with some of those boil and bite devices. Yes, yes. So for me, a lot of the value in having someone come and see a dentist like yourself is not just a better appliance, it is actually that troubleshooting, the care, the aftercare. And I think actually that's where a lot of the value is, getting it working for people. I think that's a great point because, you know, if you look at both treatments for, for sleep apnea, snoring, CPAP machine, dental device, there's something you've got to kind of adapt to and get used to. And comfort is, is just number one. If something's comfortable and it's working, people are going to use it in the longer term. And you're quite right. With the non-custom made bull and bite devices you have a lot more side effects and people just give up on them basically that's why in our in our clinic we do a trial of a custom made state of the art device rather than use one of the ball and bite type devices because we're just much more likely to get good results with it mm-hmm.